This video is part of free React course about custom hooks. In this course, we learn how to create, test and publish your custom hooks as a standalone npm package. In this video, we will write tests for our custom use counter hook that we wrote in one of our previous lessons. There is a tool called React Hooks Testing Library that greatly simplifies testing your hooks. Here we'll use it to test our state hook. To start working with this library, you need to install it as dev dependency. yarn add dev testing library slash react hooks. You already saw use counter hook in one of the previous tutorials. There we learned how to write this hook. Now let's learn how to test it. This hook returns count, which is value of our counter. It returns also increment and decrement functions that we can assign as click handlers to our increment and decrement buttons. Inside of this hook, we just use state to store count and use setter to set count and we create two functions increment and decrement that will change the value of our counter. To start testing this hook create new file called useCounterTest.js. Inside of it first of all import your hook. Import use counter from use counter. Next we'll need to import act and render hook from React Hooks testing library. Testing library, React Hooks. Our hook performs two actions, increment and decrement. Let's create two describe blocks. Describe, increment, and a callback, and a decrement. Let's test increment first. When we call our increment function from our hook, we expect that it increments count by 1. Let's get reference to our hook const result using render hook function. Call it and pass use counter to it. This is a range step. Now we need to act. When using hooks, you need to wrap all the actions that you perform with your hooks into act function. Inside of it, call result current. This is a reference to our hook increment. Now we need to assert that our count has proper value. Expect result current count to be one. We can run yarn test and see that our test passes. Let's write decrement test. It will have almost same structure as increment, but instead of incrementing, it will deduct one from our count. Also, we need to change call to increment to decrement and make sure that the result will be minus one. Let's form a document and run tests again. All tests have passed, so we've tested our hook successfully. Make sure to see other videos from this course in the attached playlist. Also, subscribe to the channel to see other videos like this one and press the like button.